but you still have time to make the perfect Mardi Gras recipe, and I think <laughs> Chef Gay might have that for oh, you. Oh, I think she does too, Joe. It smells so good in here this morning. Chef Gay, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, We Chelsea. are so glad that you're back. She's with Tony Satchery. She pops on the show once or twice a month, and we are always love when she's here because we love her, but we also love the food that she brings too. So tell <laughs> us what you're making. Food, yeah, <laughs> I, I like the food. For I sure. love to come to Mobile, and thank you for being mm -hmm. so gr such great hostesses. Oh, thank you. Um, so we are making a great jambalaya today. The recipe is on Tony Sashri's website. Um, you can also get it in this little book, and um, they sell it online for three ninety five. It has ninety recipes. It's awesome. So you can go there and get this little book. It's awesome. Yeah. The jambalaya recipe is in there. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. What we what do we need to do to start this uh, jambalaya? So I have a stick of butter in my black iron skillet, I mean pot. I love to use black iron because it's, sure. it's very good with heat, you know, obtaining the heat. So we're going to pour in our um, onions and I'm going to grab the spoon. Mm -hmm. and now you're going to saute these onions until they're a little bit uh, translucent. Sure. And then we're going to put in some bell pepper uh, and you want to use four onions two whole bell peppers and some celery celery sticks, about two celery sticks. Well, it smells amazing, and uh, Chef Gay is actually from Louisiana, so she knows a thing or two about Mardi Gras, too, but a lot of folks here, you know, you try to feed your people before the parades <coughs> or have something nice and yummy and warm, especially this time of year. Not this week, really, because it's a warmer week here on the Gulf Coast, but this is the perfect recipe mm -hmm. for that. So you're adding, of course, some Tony Satcheries. I am. Some Tony Satcheries bold seasoning. Yep. And we're going to um, cook this and then our next segment we're going to add our meat our rice and the rest of the secret ingredient that Ooh. I have um, I do have a secret ingredient that makes this smell and taste like you've smoked your meats on the grill so that's awesome something to keep in mind especially uh, if you're feeding a lot of people now before we leave though I do want to talk about some of the Tony Saturi's products oh, that you brought with us I'm and so there are always excited. so many of them I'm so excited because this is brand new it's a chili mix yeah it is awesome and it uses two pounds of chili of uh, ground meat so it's it makes a lot in that pot then also I've been using the air fryer a lot I love my air fryer um, but I've been using this crispy fish fry mix and so you can actually fry catfish and chicken nugget nuggets Wow in the air fryer so try that you can go to your local store and grab that and then for all your other party needs we have Bloody Mary mix we have all the injectors we have four seasonings you know we have just a, a whole Right. line of products and this no salt seasoning is really good as well. Well we love Tony Satchery's here on Studio 10. Like we said you come here all the time and so for more information and if you want to order this uh, cooking this cookbook as well you know where to go their website we're going to have it linked on our website give us a couple hours at least by lunchtime, and we'll have that for sure. So coming up with Joe we're going to add the meat add the rice and then lastly work on that parm See, bread and the secret oh. ingredient for the jambalaya. Yeah learn. all the good stuff. Head come back way, and Joe. learn that. Yeah. Back in the kitchen with Chef Gay from Tony Satcheries. I'm always so excited when you're here, Chef Gay. You do such a great job, so I just want to thank, thank you, you on that to start. What are we making today? Well, this is one of the best jambalaya recipes I have ever tasted, and it just happens to be in Tony Satcheries arsenal of recipes. How about that? On their recipe, on their, uh, in their cookbooks, on their mm -hmm. website. Do you want so me to pour this in here? I do. So we're going to put six, hurry, because it's dripping. Yeah, I don't six know where that's coming from. <laughs> six cups of chicken broth into our yep. vegetables. So we have like two whole, uh, four whole onions, bell peppers, celery, and then uh, we put our chicken broth in there. Six cups and then three cups of rice. Clean up on aisle 10. <laughs> Look, I you, got you like that's that? a, your new job, but you yeah. got to move this. Yeah, I got to move that so we can see it. All right, fin fin finish that up. All right, so you got your rice in there. We've got the chicken stock in there. Yeah. And what did you want to tell us about this? Look at this. Tony Satchery's Creole sausage. Style Smoked Sausage. Yeah, so they sell that here at some of your local stores. I told yeah. you that. Um, but it's delicious. So I use the sausage in there. I've used their seasonings, and um, we're ready to go. We're going to put our secret ingredient in there. All right. Smell this and tell me what it is. Is it's smoke of, flavor. Yeah, is that kind of like a <laughs> smoky barbecue? No, it's a, it's called smoke flavor. It's mesquite. Just straight up smoke flavor. Mesquite. Okay, so yeah. So I always pour this into my gumbos and my jambalayas, and everybody tells me, did you smoke the meat that you put in there? I'm like, 
Don't want to tell them my secret. But, but, um, but now the folks at home know the secret so they can make <laughs> it for themselves. <laughs> yes. Okay, last but not least, you're going to put in, oh, let me do this because I'm going sure. to eyeball it. It's about two to three tablespoons of Tony Sassery's bold seasoning and then our meat. And we have sausage and chicken. He's he's scared. I'm stepping, I am going I'm stepping to... back. I'm stepping back. <laughs> I'm going to let you do your thing. He's scared I'm going to soil his suit. So this bold, it has an extra kick, it says. So is this a little bit spicier, this mix here? It is. And yeah. um, that that is a little bit spicier than the original. And mm -hmm. uh, you know they have like four, five, six seasonings. This is a no salt. So they have yeah. many to choose from. Um, you're going to cover this, and then you're going to cook it for 20 minutes. And so in 20 minutes, when we come on, we're going to lift off this top and show you what we got. Uh, we also coming up with this recipe. Ooh. This is amazing. Can you see it? Ooh. How about this? I'm going to let you share <laughs> that to talk with that about no. Chelsea, the parm bread. We're going to show you that next here on Studio 10 and finish up this jambalaya. So exciting. Chef Gay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Chelsea. Happy Tuesday and welcome back to Studio 10. We're in the kitchen with Chef Jay with Tony Satcher, Chef Gay, not okay. Chef Jay, with Tony <laughs> Satcheries. And we are making this parm bread. Now, you've made this on the show before. I have. And you just said all of your friends, anytime you go somewhere with your husband, they always request that you bring Th this. This is called the Billy Bread, they call it. And um, I want you to taste that. It I is so good. Um, so I want to teach you how to do it. Um, you have to know the secrets, though, because it is specific. Yeah. So you have a, a loaf of French bread. I cooked half of it already and you're gonna have two sticks of butter and some Parmesan cheese and that's all the ingredients so you have to slice your bread like this um, you can see wow. so it has sections mm -hmm. and then in each section you're gonna put a pat of butter and I've sliced it into little rectangles so you're gonna put pats of butter like this did you like it <laughs> you know, I had it last time too. I know. And it's you so guys, good. this is so good, but so easy too. It's so easy, but you so you you preheat your oven to 425 and you put this bread in there when your oven's very, very hot. Right. On foil like this. And so we're gonna do our butter and then we're gonna put our Parmesan cheese and kind of open it up mm. and let your cheese fall into the slots. And then, of course, we're going to add a little tiny sachets on top of that. This is totally stuffed I and good with anything. I was just telling you that um, it's probably amazing with the jambalaya you cooked. But if you're making something anything. dinner one night, pasta, crawfish, whatever you want to do, this sounds amazing. And you were telling me, too, you got started cooking at like three years old. <laughs> I can't remember when I couldn't cook, I swear. Right. Uh, my fam family grew up in South Louisiana mm -hmm. where Tony Sazeris is from. Uh, big families, Catholic families that we, we love to cook and, and have a good time. Yeah. So uh, I've been cooking and then I have a couple of degrees. So um, I love it. I love cooking and I love sharing my recipes with people. It's yeah. just a lot of fun. And Tony Sazeris is a great company to well, be with. We are, we're, we're glad you're sharing your recipe with us today here on Studio 10. This jambalaya sounds ah, and smells amazing. So this it. is done too. Yes, let's open it up. Look oh, at it. It's man. almost ready. It's amazing. So good. So about how long does it need to sit in a pot like this? It will cook simmer for yeah. 20 to 25 minutes um, and then it'll be ready to serve. It is so good though. Oh. And I then you want to sprinkle it with some green onion tops like this, mm -hmm. make it pretty, and then uh, serve it to your guests with our great Parmesan crisp bread. Yum, and you are good to go for the Mardi Gras season and beyond. This is so, so yummy. For more information, you can go ahead and get the Tony Satcheries cookbook, too. You can visit their website. We're going to have a link to that on our website mm -hmm. around lunchtime. Chef Gay, thank you so much for coming. You and are of welcome. course, if you need a little Tony Satcheries, they have these cute little packets, too, to take on the go to keep in your purse or do whatever. Thank you, you Mardi Gras parades. I know. Well, happy Mardi Gras to you, Chef Gay. <laughs> All right. I says it's eating time. <laughs> That's what I says. Time to eat this Tony Satcheries. Take a look. It looks so oh, good. Yeah. Jambalaya from Chef Gay. You can find the recipe online shortly. Have a great Tuesday.